Now let's have a look at the stock analysis module. So first of all, in this module, the comprehensive dashboard is there where you can have the how much stock quantity and valuation as on date, what is the site-wise, product-wise contribution, stock age-wise contribution. And after that, the stock aging dashboard and the details report. Now, here three options are there for identifying the aging of your inventory. Maybe barcode creation date, first in date, last in date. So here I've selected the barcode creation date. And considering that what is the aging bucket for your inventory, some new stocks is there, maybe 0 to 14 days, 15 to 30 days, or some products, the stock is there for a long time. So you can segregate the aging of your inventory at a glance. And after that, if you want to generate the details report at any site and product level, this option is also there. You can also select specific stock age bucket from here and how much closing stock quantity and amount is available for that stock that is also available. And after that, sales stock report is there. Now here comes the stock movement report, where in the major selection options, starting from the opening stock, quantity, amount, how much is the GRC, GRT, transit. So everything is available here. You just need to select and the stock movement details report will be available to you. Now comes the MBQ planning module. Now in this section, we have split the MBQ planning module into two sections. The first one is system driven, where the system will guide you what should be your minimum base quantity and what should be your maximum base quantity, considering some prerequisite parameters. The first of all, the sale train for last N days, considering the average sale per day. And the next parameter is product segmentation, group A, B, C, considering the performance of the products. Now, basically, this is done at the section level. So maybe for an organization among all the sections, some are the best performing sections. So that goes under the group A. And after that, some mid-level sections where the sale is not that satisfactory that comes under the group B and group C in this way. And this integration is through Excel. And after this segmentation, for example, if for group A, I want to maintain minimum of 50 days of inventory and maximum of 120 days of inventory. So system will guide me what should be my minimum base quantity, what should be my maximum stock quantity. And not only that, considering the maximum stock quantity the system is suggesting to me, the system will also identify where I am having excess stock, considering the maximum stock quantity and the reverse scenario, the alarming scenario where I am having the shortest stock that is below the minimum stock quantity the system is suggesting. Now, after the system driven MBQ planning, there is another module that is stock level custom, where the excess stock, shortest stock will be calculated considering the client's data. So client prefers that to maintain at any site or product level. And after they provide the data in Excel, the integration happens. And after that, the excess stock and shortest stock that is calculated considering the client's MBQ data. Mm -hmm.